Hello everybody, welcome back Simply Whitby. Thanks for joining me. I'm outside the Cranberry Swamp on Skinner Street and I'm just wandering into Elizabeth Botham's uh, uh, established in 1865 Botham's Bakery. I'm going to get myself a Yorkshire pasty and then I'm going to have a wander up onto uh, the West Cliff and uh, yeah, shove that down my face. I'll tell you all about Botham's famous Yorkshire pasty. <laughs> I bet you can't wait. Hang on a minute, I'll show you Botham's. Right, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit mm, misty today. It's not the best of days, but there you go. Elizabeth Potham and Sons, established in 1865. All things wondrous. They've got a little cafe in here as well, um, which is well worth going in. And here's the plaque to say, Whitby Civic Society Elizabeth Potham, from 1837 to 1904, was the founder of the family bakery business and lived and worked here, and they're still here to this day. Right, um, so that's Bottoms, tea room upstairs. Let's have a look in the window. Coffees, teas, pasties, cakes, buns, breads. You mention it, this lot's got it. <laughs> right, let's have a walk up on the cliff and let's get this Yorkshire pasty down me, down me neck. Right, we're up on the West Cliff. Here's one of the shelters, Victorian shelters. This one got battered uh, a couple of years ago when the storm uh, came in, flattened it, they've rebuilt all of that, absolutely beautiful. Now they were spending a bit of time on one a little bit further up, so let's have a look. This is the uh, Westcliff lift that takes you down to Westcliff Beach. And believe it or not, <laughs> that's the sea. <laughs> yeah, what a day. So we got another one here beautiful aren't they fantastic i really thought when it were blown down they were going to abandon ship not put it back up again but this one further up not not this one straight in front this has been here oh i don't know this has been refurbished two or three years ago this one's just been completely rebuilt absolutely fantastic they just haven't finished it yet you can see they're just still on with painting it and all the rest of it Look at the size of that. It's fantastic, isn't it? That ain't gonna blow down in the wind, is it? Looks like they've used some of the original... Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. Some of the original uh, wood from uh, before they knocked it down and uh, so they try to keep a lot of its character and just... It, it looks like they've replaced the handrails and other bits and pieces. Um, yeah. So that'll get it all painted up, ready for the uh, summer season, shouldn't be long now. Last time I was up here it was all cordoned off and uh, you couldn't get close to it. Anyway, glad to see it's, uh, it's all up and running in use. I'm going to go down to this, uh, this little ornate one here. And I'm going to get sat down and I'm, then I'm going to show you my Yorkshire pasty from Bothams on Skinner Street. So here we go, I'm sorry about the fog but told you before I just show you stuff about Whitby that other people don't show you <laughs> no <laughs> they do better videos than these but anyway enough of that rubbish let's get set up and crack on right here we are Victorian shelter looking out on the sea and all I can see is the mist <laughs> Simon why are you filming a video on a day like this I know why because you've been for a yoke you're pasty at Botham's and here it is in all its glory one pound 25's worth of deliciousness <laughs> are you jealous let's have a look right first off nice bags they do everything right at Botham's you know nice little bags nice pasty lovely cooked look at that pastry is nice and crisp Lovely, let's tear it in half so you can see what's inside. Oh, mates, look at that. Looks like a bit of minced beef, bit of carrot, bit of onion, bit of potato, yeah, a bit of seasoning, everything you could, uh, you could ask for. Let's get stuck in. Mm. Limey. 
That is good. I prefer them when they're cold. You can get them hot in the shop. I always go for them cold. I don't know why. You just seem to get more flavour with it. That pastry is fantastic. Look how flaky that is. Right, here we go. So what does the back say? Find us at www.botham, B-O-T-H-A-M, uh, not Botham, Botham, they pronounce it, .co.uk for hampers, gifts and craft bakery goods. Elizabeth Botham first opened the bakery doors in 1865 in the Asian port of Whitby. Her descendants continue the family business today. Good on you. That's what I say. Right. I'm trying to lose a bit of weight, so I'm not going to eat all this pastry. It's not good for you, is it? Or I mean, <laughs> I might eat it later when I'm off camera. You know, it's days like this in Whitby when it's a little bit quieter. The weather might not be great. You can't see all of the scenery, but it's still a fabulous little town. It's little hidey holes like these Victorian shelters you can come and sit in. There's nobody bothering you. You can walk your dogs up here. You can go for a sherbet or two, a glass of vino, collapso. Absolutely fantastic. Mrs M's been to uh, um, Rutter today. <coughs> oh, sorry, Slights. She's been to Slights and she's been to uh, Radford's, the Butchers. Absolutely fantastic stuff there. And she's got a lasagna for tonight, a bit of lasagna and salad. That will be beautiful. Yesterday, I walked into Rutter along the, uh, the tra train track and I went to... Um, I went to Jackson's Butchers there and I got some bacon and eggs for my breakfast this morning. Oh man, smoked back bacon. Beautiful fresh eggs. You know when they all stay together? You know, nice and tight, the yolk, big golden yolk on it. Oh, no bread, just uh, bacon and eggs. Absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah, now I'm having a pasty and I'll be having a walk and uh, enjoying a bit of... Uh, well, I'm going to walk all on the tops up on Westcliff. Then I'm going to go down towards Panic Park and then uh, down into Whitby. Look at that mate. There's a bloke here walking his dogs. Looks like he's dressed up for the north face of the eagle. <laughs> Anyway, good luck to you. I hope you can pick up this volume all right. I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. Um, I didn't bring my microphones with me, so I'm relying on the GoPro. And uh, let's leave it there. I'll have my last b bite of uh, my Bottoms uh, Yorkshire pasty, and uh, I'll bid you farewell. I'll see you later, mates. Chin chin. <laughs>